uh, Hotep family. Uh, I, I want to share a story with y'all um, real quick. Uh, I remember back when I was about 15, right? And I was sitting inside of the Jerry J. Esmond Juvenile Detention Center um, for a couple of crimes that I had committed. I had uh, me and a couple of other guys, um, good friends of mine, we had um, been arrested for burglary and vandalism. Over the course of about uh, two weeks to a month, we had um, broken into several schools in my, um, in my hometown. We had broken into a few houses, we had broken into a few businesses, and we had um, stolen property and uh, committed vandalism. And so um, we were arrested for breaking into and vandalizing the, the schools. And while I was sitting in there, my father got me a lawyer, right? She, she came to come see me, and, and, and so she was um, interviewing me, asking questions so she could get familiar with my case, so she could help me uh, fight it if I decided to go to trial or to give me, you know how it is, give me the best plea deal possible. And so she, she asked, um, how did we get caught? And so uh, I basically I gave her the rant rundown. I told her what happened, um, the day we got caught, um, how it transpired, what I did, what I said, what my friends did, what my friends said. And you know how it is with a lawyer. Um, you're supposed to be open and honest um, with the lawyer because they're supposed to be there to help you. So you're supposed to tell them the, tell them the truth so they can understand exactly what the circumstances are so they can um, um, properly assist you in either getting the best deal that they can get you or helping you to beat the case. Me being totally guilty, dead to the wrong, caught um, dead to the wrong, um, my option was the uh, plea deal, basically. And so when I told her how I got caught, she, she looked at me puzzled and she said something to the effect of why why would you even do that you should have known that you would be caught if you did that and i told her you know in my young 15 year old mind i told her you know i wasn't really worried about um b being caught at the time um basically we we had bragged to someone we had told someone what we had did and they ended up telling the police and so i was i told her that i didn't expect to get caught like that so we we in essence did that told someone that eventually told on us and so she she told me something that i i learned to apply in life um not criminal activity but i learned to apply in life and what she told me was this she said that um you know she's not condoning criminal activity and she's not encouraging that i go out and continue to commit crime but she said, you always have to plan to fail. And when she said that, it was my turn to look at her kind of perplexed and bewildered. And I, I asked her, why? why? Why would I plan to fail when I can plan to succeed? or plan to get away with it, plan to be successful. Why would I plan to fail when I can plan to win? And she told me that it's not about not wanting to win. You want to win. You want to succeed. You want to get away with it. But in order to do that, you have to plan to fail. So I told her, explain. And so what she explained to me was, if um, you are going to do something, right, what you want to do is anticipate every possible way that it can go wrong. Think about, analyze, brainstorm about, ponder, wonder, imagine every single scenario that can lead to failure, that can make you fail, that can make you lose, that can make you unsuccessful. And in doing so, when you say, okay, um, to use my example, um, if I tell someone, if I plan to fail and I say, okay, how can I get caught? 
what can I do to get caught? Okay, well, if I don't tell on myself, someone else can tell on me. So if I tell someone what I'm doing, then I can get caught. Now that I have that understanding, I can then plan to avoid that pitfall. Okay, well, I am not going to tell anybody because I already know that if I tell somebody, they may tell somebody and then that information may get to the police and I may go to jail. So I, I apply that. I apply that general concept with life now and I've, I've been doing it ever since and I've, I've been pretty successful at acquiring and attaining um, and achieving a good majority of my goals like this I think about every way that I can fail I think about everything that can make me lose I think about everything that can make me unsuccessful and I play out that failure to the end then I come back and I seeing that I have already anticipated the actions that can lead to failure I come up with a alternative action or an alternative solution which will not result in failure so um, I just want to leave that with you um, sometimes if you want to win if you want to succeed if you want to not fail you must plan to fail if you want to succeed you must plan to not be successful if you want to win, you must plan to lose. And in doing that, you can successfully contemplate every possible scenario that can stop you from reaching your goals. And you can come up with a plan B, an alternative to what you can do instead of that action that will lead to failure and you're more likely to win you're more likely to succeed and you're more likely to reach victory so remember sometimes the best plan is the plan to fail because in planning to fail you will know what not to do hotel